If you want to know what my favorite 25 books are, plus a few honorable mentions, then keep watching this video. So this is 25 books you need to read if you're a construction business owner. Number 25, super exciting because you're starting your own corporation. This is Start Your Own Corporation by Garrett Sutton. You got to get things set up the right way. You got to know what LLC or S Corp or C Corp or partnership that you're going to new do, need, need and do, new. <laughs> your new partnership, you got to know what you're going to do. You're going to learn how to credit proof yourself, how to set up LLCs, how to protect your assets, how to protect your property in a legal dispute. There's so many case studies and amazing things in this book. That's number 25. So once you start your business entity, you got to know how to run it. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, run your own corporation again by Garrett Sutton. Same dude from last time. This book is part survival guide and part cautionary tale. And it's super helpful. The meat of this book goes into payroll taxes and annual filings and IRS audits and so much more about actually running and using a corporation like an LLC, etc. Great book. And number 23, the infamous, everyone knows it, everyone recommends it. It's been talked about for the last, I don't even know, 30 years at least, I guess. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, talking about Robert Kiyosaki's, this is his first book that he ever wrote, Robert Kiyosaki's real dad versus his best friend's dad was actually his rich dad and he learned all these different lessons like the rich don't work for money, they work for assets. And we need to create business systems and train our people to make more and more money in a business structure so then we can go and invest in assets. It talks about how the poor and the middle class, they just buy liabilities, but they think that they're assets. This guy got riddled by the media when he came out and he said, your house is not an asset. You know, people are like, house is not an asset. Of course it's an asset. He's like, does it put money into your bank account? I mean, if you're renting it out, then it's an asset. Assets put money into your pocket. Liabilities take money from your pocket. Cars, watches, jewelry, liabilities. Rental houses, assets. Personal house, liability. Boom. It's all about making money work for you folks. And remember, the most powerful asset we have is our mind. So keep that in mind. Coming in at number 22, because you gotta, you gotta start with these books, man. These books are foundational. It's called Rich Dad's Cashflow Quadrant, Guide to Financial Freedom by Robert Kiyosaki. This man changed my life. You gotta know if you're in the E, the S, the B, or the I quadrant, the employee, the self-employed or small business, the business owner or big business owner, the I quadrant, the investor. Here are some phrases that each say. Like the employee, I need a safe and secure job with good benefits. And the employee's tagline is security. The self-employed, if you want to do it right, you just got to do it yourself. The tagline is like perfectionism. They're not at the point yet of hiring other people. And then B, the business owners, I'm looking to find and hire the smartest people in the world to work for my company. Their core value and tagline is making people work for them. And then I, the investor, these are all things that these people say, I'm looking for a really good investment. And their tagline is they make money work for them. So the ESB and I quadrant is the key to life. And you have to know what quadrant you're in folks. If you're an employee, don't try to be a business owner. If you're a business owner, you better not be stuck as an employee. While we're on the Robert kick, increase your financial IQ. A must read if you want to have financial intelligence. You want to learn about leveraging your money, budgeting your money, managing your money, and you want to protect your money against the bureaucrats, the bankers, the brokers, the business bribes. The, the, there's so many people out there that want to take your money, learn how to protect it. And the biggest thing you want to learn how to defer gratification. Don't sacrifice your financial future for a few bucks today. Now, I think I have all of Robert Kiyosaki's books, but here are a few honorable mentions. The Unfair Advantage. If you can get this on Audible, get all these books on Audible, but, and also get the physical if you like to read but if you're driving around instead of listening to music if you listen to the unfair advantage you will be way ahead of the rest of the world this book it's so unfair that other people don't know about it read this book and this is Robert Kiyosaki's funniest title so I had to throw it in and it is true but why a students work for C students and why B students work for the government and I was a C student folks got kicked out of every school I went to I was told I was never going to make it and I got C's, D's, and F's sometimes. Got a few B's, but it was mainly like for geometry. I like geometry. Coming in at number 20, 
think and grow rich. And by the way, rich is not just money. It's everything in life. Rich in relationships, rich in your health, rich in your spiritual life, and then rich in money. And there's all kinds of other things that you can be rich in also. But if you can't think, you can't be rich. This book helped me understand that thought is the core process behind everything in life. Thought is the root of everything. And your subconscious mind is also a really important factor. Definitely recommend reading this book. Number 19, vlog like a boss. <laughs> this book was awesome. I actually listened to this book on Audible a couple years back and it helped me understand really knowing my purpose and my why behind my YouTube stuff and anything social media related. If your purpose is just to make money on YouTube, you're gonna burn out immediately. You gotta know your why and your purpose and you gotta have a passion for it behind doing it. But it's also very needed. So hopefully you find a good why behind making online content because it's so crucial and needed in this day and age for marketing your business. And I have so many other books like YouTube Secrets, One Million Followers, You Ask, They Answer, Top of Mind, The Story Engine, there's so many books I have on my shelf over there of amazing things. It's all about story, even though I'm actually the worst storyteller. I hardly ever even like tell stories and I need to get better at it. But if you can tell stories, especially on camera, you can reach a mass amount of people and change the lives of others. Number 18, Entre Leadership by Dave Ramsey. <laughs> You never would have thought that I would be talking about Dave Ramsey because you know I love Robert Kiyosaki and you know about the boxing match coming up between Dave Ramsey and Robert Kiyosaki. Just kidding. But this is Dave Ramsey is the complete opposite. He, he doesn't believe in debt, right? So I don't believe in cutting out my credit cards. I actually believe in debt, in good debt. There's good debt and there's bad debt, but I don't know if Dave really understands that. If I want to go borrow money to buy a multifamily, like a tenplex or even a quadruplex or whatever, borrow money to buy real estate, and it makes me money, that's called good debt. <laughs> but obviously, if you're gonna borrow money to go buy a Lamborghini, and you're not making money on that unless you're putting it on Turo or something and like renting it out, then obviously that's bad debt. But Dave says, buy everything with cash. Anyway, I'm getting derailed. But this book was absolutely amazing when it comes down to leadership as an entrepreneur, entre leadership. People really do matter most, and if you can lead them, if you're the entrepreneur, you're rocking and rolling. Number 17, Leader Shift. Not Entre Leadership, but Leader Shift by John Maxwell. Any book by John Maxwell is absolutely amazing, but this has these core shifts. You can see I have my little tabs here to quickly find where I'm at. These core shifts of shifting from thinking it's all about you to thinking it's all about the people. Shifting from pleasing people to challenging people. Ladder climbing to ladder building as the entrepreneur. entrepreneur. <laughs> team uniformity to team diversity. There's so many mindset shifts, leader shifts, that John Maxwell talks about in this book, and I highly recommend it. This will totally shift the way you're thinking about leadership. And at number 16, we got The Dip by Seth Godin. You gotta know when you're in the dip, this is a little book that teaches you when to quit and when to stick, because you gotta know, are you in a cul-de-sac? You're going around and it's not gonna go anywhere. Are you going towards a cliff? Or are you just in a dip that is gonna get to the other side to where you actually need to be? So you need to know, you need to have enough vision that'll show you that you're going the right direction. And sometimes quitting and saying no is important too. If you are going towards that cliff or the cul-de-sac going nowhere, you gotta know, you gotta focus on the right stuff and get through the dip, even though it's hard, but get to the other side. Great book. Number 15 is Clockwork by Michael Michalowicz. This is a great book. You gotta know what your queen bee is and have all your employees understand what the most important thing in your business is. You'll free yourself from micromanaging. Start macromanaging. Build those systems. Make your employees act like owners. But how do you do that? Start running your business like clockwork. And when you pinpoint your business's most important function, everyone can guard that just like a queen bee, like he talks about. And it's a great book. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Habit number one, be proactive. Number two, begin with the end in mind. Then put things first, then think win-win, then seek first to understand and then be understood. Number six, synergize. Seven, 
Sharpen the Saw. A great book if you want to be highly effective. Number 13 is the four disciplines of execution. You're like, Jess, why is the stack of books not going down? Well, I listened to this one on Audible. <laughs> this is a great book that talks about the wildly important goals. WIG. You want to focus on lead measures and lag measures, and you got to know what your wildly important goals are. And you want to make sure you're measuring everything that you possibly can, like your KPIs, to make sure you're going down the right path. You can achieve these wildly important goals. And this book helps you achieve those wildly important goals through mindful execution. Honorable mention, the six disciplines for excellence, similar title, but also a really fantastic book. So make sure to check this one out. Six disciplines for excellence. Decide what's important, set goals that lead, align systems, work the plan, innovate purposefully, step back and then decide what's important. Great book. Now this book made transformation on my life. This is the millionaire booklet by Grant Cardone. And I have Grant's other books too. This is the first one I read, Sell or Be Sold. I realized I was a salesman ever since I convinced my parents to stop for ice cream after they said no. You're always selling, even as a kid. The 10X rule, just amplify everything by 10X. Set those goals, shoot for the stars, land on the moon. Be obsessed or be average, you're not gonna be successful if you ain't obsessed about what you do. But this millionaire booklet I read and it just changed my life. Grant started with $350,000 and I actually set the same goal for myself. To build my construction company cash and put some aside to where I had that 350. Then I went and bought a 10 plex, put like put a lot into it. But anyways, I started with something and I had a goal and then I saw what Grant did with that goal. You, you gotta just read this little booklet. It's the millionaire booklet by Grant Cardone. It's absolutely amazing. See what he did and what he made on his first real estate deal. Absolutely, absolutely insane. It's cool because 80% of millionaires are self-made. And so it's totally possible for you. Number 11, one day as a construction business owner, you might want to invest in a little real estate, okay? The ABCs of real estate investing, the secrets of finding hidden profits most investors miss by Ken McElroy. This is Robert Kiyosaki's business partner and this taught me so much about the basics of real estate investing. And he talks about some bigger stuff here too. It's not just like single family stuff or whatever. It's like bigger multifamily, multi, multi, multi million dollar deals and how to structure that stuff. And it's the ABCs, bro. You gotta check it out. The cool thing is you don't have to be a real estate genius before you can get started. That's one of his main points is you, you can just start and you'll learn. But read this book, you know, don't start with no, no knowledge, you gotta know something. This book helped me get my real estate investment journey started. So now that you're making some money, you gotta start investing that money, which brings me to number 10, which is Rich Dad's Guide to Investing by Robert Kiyosaki. And this is a huge book. There's literally 460 something pages in here, 470. Big book. I listened to it on Audible. Great book. Instead of making so many costly mistakes, pick up this book and others. All of Robert's books are awesome and learn not to make those mistakes. Great book. Number nine, how to win friends and influence people. And I thought I had a copy, but I don't know where it went. Maybe I lent it to someone, but I listened to it on Audible also. And it's a, this is not even an Audible ad. Audible, I should be getting money for this. You know what I'm saying? Shoo. <laughs> the book helps you become genuinely interested in other people. And there's so many amazing pieces of advice in this book because life is all about people. And if you can influence them and, and make them like you and win them over, you know, in a very natural way and, and, and honest way, then you're gonna be really successful in life. Also, just honorable mention, Emotional Intelligence 2.0. This is a fantastic book when it comes to dealing with people and dealing with your emotional IQ, your emotional intelligence. I highly recommend checking that out as well. Number eight, Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. This guy is a master of funnels, online funnels. He built ClickFunnels. It's like a multi-hundred million dollar company. He's absolutely crushing it. But he talks about the core foundations of building a mass movement. He talks about the epiphany bridge and how when you explain something to someone, you want to bring them from one side of the river to the other, and you have to bring them over the same journey that you had when you had your epiphany. Like, I just learned so much just even in that example right there from this guy. And every mass movement has a leader, and he talks about how you could become the expert leader. So it's, this is all kind of coming back to becoming that thought leader, you know, making social media content and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Live your life, your audience wishes that they could live. That's one thing he talks about. And also build some funnels for some long-term wealth. Boom, sell some stuff online, whatever. And also honorable mention.com secrets also by Russell Brunson. Check it out. Number seven, 
This is actually a construction book, Managing the Profitable Construction Business. There's multiple people that wrote this book and it's actually pretty good. I have some tabs in here like board of directors, taking it slow, using remote offices. That's th something that I did. Management, accounting, flexible overhead. There's so many things. Your rate of growth. You can see when I'm highlighting stuff, you know it's good. <laughs> your accounting system. There's so many amazing tips about growing a construction company in this book, Managing the Profitable Construction Business. Number six, building a successful construction company company, The Practical Guide. This book is one of my favorites. It's coming in at number six, but it's an amazing construction business book. It talks about bidding work, talks about delivering the project, reducing costs, maximizing your revenue, managing your finances, talking about contracts, people, managing your whole company as a whole, and then growing the company. And it's, it's actually one of my favorite construction business books. So definitely check it out. Now that you've made your money, you've invested your money, you've built your construction business. Now it's time to talk taxes. Number five is tax free wealth by Tom Wheelwright. You have to understand that the tax code is a map. The government wants you to do certain specific things like providing jobs, like providing housing, that's business ownership and owning real estate. When you do those things, they're going to give you major tax breaks and it's hundred percent legal. It's not like you're avoiding taxes. You're just taking the right deductions and you're doing cost segregation studies on your real estate to limit your taxes. There's so many things in this book that will greatly benefit you save money on some taxes. The rich people save money on taxes. Everything you do either increases your taxes or lowers your taxes. Tax planning is not an end of the year activity. It's a daily one. So I definitely recommend checking this book out. People who benefit the most from the tax code are business owners, entrepreneurs, and investors. Now you've made your money. You've done your investing. You've paid your taxes, the taxes that you have to pay. Now it's time to start thinking about retirement. Coming in at number four is how to retire rich and retire young by Robert Kiyosaki, my favorite author. I love this guy, he changed my life. It's actually called Rich Dads Retire Young, Retire Rich, but hey, same thing. This book literally had me in tears at the end of it. I was just so enthralled by the fact that you spend all this time building a business and hiring the wrong people, and then you finally get the right ones, and you push, and you push, and you push. There's so much heartache and so much struggle and so much growth. Oh, the struggle was worth something like the dip, like Seth Godin said, and you finally get to this point. And then Robert starts talking about how to actually do it. And so it's just super awesome. It's just a super awesome book, but you have to be totally fully 100% at the core of who you are committed to making it happen, but you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Number three is the secrets of the millionaire mind by T Harv Ecker. This guy has a millionaire mind. He's genius. Okay. He talks about your inner programming. I'm going to talk about some of the stuff in my conference too. It's that good. By the way, if you don't have a conference ticket, the links in the description, jessielaneconference.com. Boom. Get your conference ticket today. Harv talks about the inner programming is really what makes us who we are. And it affects the mental, the emotional, the spiritual realms are what create the physical printout of who we are as people. And then we realize that our inner programming leads to our thoughts. And then those thoughts lead to our feelings. And then those feelings lead to our actions. And then those actions that we take lead to our results. So we got to really talk about programming that we have, which we can alter. And then the thoughts that we have based on that programming, because our thoughts are everything, just like Think and Grow Rich said. And then those thoughts make us feel a certain way and make us act a certain way. And then we get results out of life. And isn't the whole point results in life? Great book. Also, one other book that has the word millionaire in it, but it's awesome. What self-made millionaires do that most people don't. These are 52 things that millionaires do that everyone else doesn't. Not everyone's a millionaire, but here's 52 things. You could do one a week, whatever. You know, it's great. Awesome book. And we're getting so close to the end. Traction is also another amazing book about building your business, putting in amazing systems and vivid vision. If you can have the vision, you really can succeed because you can guide your people to say, Hey, this is exactly precisely what our office is going to look like, smell like, feel like where it's going to be located, how many people, what, what, what the vibe is going to be. If you can really lay out your vision with clarity, you can make it happen. And then another little side note, Principles by Ray Dalio. Really, really big book, but an awesome book that talks so much about just so many amazing things. Principles by Ray Dalio. But without further ado, number two, The E-Myth by Michael E. Gerber. You can't live without reading this book, especially 
especially if you're gonna be a business owner, which I assume if you're watching this video, you're somewhat of a business owner, maybe even a construction business owner. But this book talks about Sarah's pies and how Sarah wanted to open a pie shop and she did, but she was struggling. She was working all these hours and then she finally hired a guy and he was in the back typing away and she's like, okay, he's working, but then she doesn't know how to manage the guy. She, and then she hires more people and her business just almost implodes until Michael meets with Sarah and says, Sarah, gotta have systems. Then a story in the book when Michael went to this hotel and he saw this operations manual. He's like, how does everything in this hotel always just operate so smoothly, no matter what employee I'm talking to? Just like, you know, the McDonald's conversation or whatever, but this is a hotel he went to. And it all came down to the business operations manual. The point is putting in the systems behind your business so your business can work like clockwork. You know what I'm saying? This book will literally change your whole framework. Great read. And now, can I get a drum roll, please? We have number one, my ultimate construction business owner book. Get your construction business to always make a profit by George Headley. This is what this guy looks like. That's George. I've met this guy. I have a cell phone number. <laughs> I love this guy. He is an amazing, amazing speaker. I was introduced to him through Tony Robbins, actually, and he changed my life. I first reached out to George and I got this amazing multi-hour course online where George stands there and he built this whole presentation online. You could buy it on his website and it rocked my world starting my construction company because there's so much that you don't know as a young contractor, right? And George goes into the contractor detail. It's not just, oh, mindset and this and that and other thing. He literally talks about project managers and, and superintendents and tracking hours and the steps to success and wealth building and having your strategy meeting and focusing 50% of your time on sales. I mean, each page in this book, this is my copy, you know, I, and I bought copies for all my employees also, is completely tab highlighted, marked up. I mean, there's, and there's just like charts and graphs and it's absolutely amazing. You want to build a best in class construction biz, calls it B-I-Z, biz then get this book. It's absolutely amazing. And if you like construction, if you like entrepreneurship, if you like real estate, then subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram at Jesse Lane TV. I'm always posting stories and stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.